Alrighty folks, hopefully everyone can see me and hear me okay and we're not having any more difficulties like we were yesterday morning. Welcome in to uh, Adobe Live yet again. Thank you all for sticking around for the stream. Uh, I'm going to quickly refresh over here on my other display. Yep, there we go. Okay, we're up. We're good. <laughs> good morning, everyone. My name is Voodoo Val, and I am going to be your instructor yet again for the Photoshop Daily Creative Challenge. I'm super excited to jump into what we have planned for today, and I'm super excited that all of my friends are here in chat, and also some new faces uh, I see. So welcome in, everyone. I see Ted and Frank and Umicorn. Colby, it's good to see you. Uh, Michelle, General Kenobi, can't forget you. Sherry, Stephanie, Fairy, Biola. It is good to see all of you folks. Thank you everyone uh, for coming to hang out. Hello, Emma. Hello, Sean and Leah and Carol. Um, uh, also, if you are over on the YouTube channel, please head over to behance.net slash live because that is where we are uh, kind of taking a look at the chat. That's where the party's happening. Um, and that is also where all of the helpful links um, and resources and things are being posted and shared. So um, if I'm greeting people that you don't see and I'm talking about links that you are not um, getting in the chat, it is probably because you are in the wrong chat. Um, so please come over. Uh, hello to you as well, Ted. It's good to see you. Philip, hello. Good afternoon here um, from Brampton, Ontario, Canada. Awesome. From Mozambique, Africa, Bruno. Wow. So many people from so many different places. I love it. I love it. Um, okay, so let's jump into what we have planned for today because we've got some stuff that I want to go over. And I also um, want to make sure that since yesterday we had a little bit of a time crunch, I want to make sure that I open up the Discord and give some feedback and go over um, some of the fabulous things that I've seen in there thus far. So if you would like to join me today, please head over to behance.net. Uh, slash challenge slash Photoshop. It'll bring you to this landing page. You'll know that you are on the right challenge because it will say October 26th to November 6th. Um, and then if you scroll down here, you will see that we have um, all of these challenges that have been unlocked. I can't believe that we only have today and tomorrow left of this two weeks. That is crazy. Um, we have done inspirational mood boards. We've designed logos. We've aged photos. We have created business cards. We did an advertisement mock-up. We um, edited shadows. We created informational cards. And today we're going to do uh, filters and effects. Uh, it says play with filters to add a pixel sorting effect to an image. Now we are going to add a pixel sorting effect to an image. However, I am also going to dive um, into some of the other filters and things that you can use just in case the pixel sorting effect does not work for your challenge today because as every day has been thus far, you don't have to follow our theme, um, but I have been making all of my entries Monster Hunter themed because we did start this on, in October and I did want to keep things a little bit spooky. So um, I'm going to be creating today um, basically a, a, an item of power, some kind of magical artifact that my monster hunter takes with them uh, when they're hunting the paranormal. Uh, because obviously, if you're going to hunt magic, you got to you got to have some magic of your own, right? So we're going to be working on um, kind of adding effects to an interesting stone. Um, and I have supplied an image for you folks to use today. Um, so if you want to hit the get started button, um, you can, you can download the starter file. And if you want to watch the video later, you can always come back and do that. Um, uh, before we jump into the challenge, however, I'm going to pull up the discord. If you would like to join the discord and you haven't already, um, uh, please head over to this link bit.ly slash PS discord and make sure that P and S are capitalized. So you get to the right place. Uh, quick question from Julian Sunny. Um, if I didn't do the challenge yet, can I still access everything after the two days left of the challenge are over? Absolutely. Absolutely. In fact, if I come back over here, you can see um, that if I scroll down to the bottom of this page, all of these challenges are actually still available and not only just the challenges and what was being done, um, but you can still get all of the starter files. You can still come back and watch all of the pre like all of the videos that have been recorded and archived. You can come back to any one of these um, and do the challenges. So, so I welcome you to do it. Please go ahead. Um, it will be waiting there for you. Um, and this is what our discord looks like. Um, so I am in currently the current challenge uh, tab right here. And I'm going to scroll up because I saw some things, y'all. I saw some things in the discord. 
Um, so first of all, Madi, this is amazing. We've got not only the wolf and everything, but it has been like colorized. You changed the color um, for our wolf that we did yesterday, which was, this was the informational card that was actually a bestiary page for werewolves. Um, and you did not have to follow this. Like I said, you could do your own informational card um, any way you wanted to, but um, we did do um, a werewolf and lycanthropy page and that looks awesome. Um, I'm seeing this business card design coming in um, from uh, Zuzana, uh, which is awesome. I love this double H logo here. I think it looks really clean, uh, very well done. Uh, we've got some cool uh, images coming in from Loki Bougie. Um, I love the name, um, and this is looking really, really neat. This is like old, like kind of English. Um, I'm waiting for there just to be like an American werewolf in London. Um, please, someone get my reference. Um, uh, and also Loki Bougie is coming in saying um, they're posting their uh, inspirational mood board. Um, also Loki, if you are in the chat at all, thank you so much um, for popping in. I see that this this uh, post came with the message that you just found out about the Daily Creative Challenge, um, and I'm super excited to have you with us, so thank you very much. Um, and then this is a really great uh, example here from Elena of how um, Elena's following the challenges, and we're all doing spooky stuff, um, but Elena is actually doing her own kind of vibe here. So she's following along with the challenge and still like kind of getting all of the techniques, but doing her own thing. Um, so welcome in, Elena. Thank you very much for participating, and. Uh, and setting the tone for your own project. Uh, we also got this one from Uzma, who did a page on Leviathans, and I have to commend this awesome uh, kind of uh, texture that you have for your page. I don't know if you did it. It doesn't look like you did, but maybe it could have been done subtly and I'm not detecting it, but I would um, take a look at um, using uh, some, some maps to, like displacement maps, to even make the words look like they're kind of like folding around the grooves of this paper. That would be super cool. Um, we also had this one come in from Key, who didn't use the lorem ipsum, but actually put the description of what a werewolf slash lycanthrope is and how werewolf, um, werewolf uh, lycanthropy can be contracted from person to person, which was super cool. Um, we got the uh, werewolves on the loose um, here from Bruno's, uh, and I love these little, like, um, kind of magical symbols that were placed at the bottom here. I just think they look really neat. Um, and I also like what you did with the, with the frame here, um, and kind of having the wolf, like, pop out of the side, which looks really cool. Uh, we got more of the, um, werewolves coming in from, uh, Darina, and I love this picture because this wolf looks mad. Um, and this one from Sean, Sean straight up gave us a magical tome. He said, I understand that we're making an informational page, but sorry, I'm giving you the whole book and I'm making up a monster and I'm putting that monster on the page. And he gives us this, um, and this looks amazing. This is super cool. Approach with caution. We've got some, some lorem ipsum here kind of talking about what this, uh, creature is. We've got the creature's picture. Um, so we have, uh, Sheila and Bob. Uh, apparently those are the names of, of these creatures, which I think is great. Um, and this is awesome. Very well done. Very well done, Sean. Um, and this is the, this is the page. So this is the Sheila page. So we have like kind of like a close up, so we can see it. Um, not in this cool mock-up that Sean made. Um, we got some, some, some werewolves coming through the darkness here from Uzma. Uh, we got this, uh, duck, the luck duck before and after of this awesome beta fish doing, doing his own thing with this. Um, and the, uh, I can see the, the emergency lockdown is here from Uzma right here. Um, this one was impressive. So this is from, uh, Kajrov. Um, this is our age up a uh, photo. Um, and so this is the image that, uh, Kajrov started with, and this is the end product. <laughs> I actually thought that you took an old photo and just did the replace sky. I didn't realize until I scrolled up and saw that it was like an actual photo that you took and aged up this well. I, I'm, I'm impressed. Um, I think this looks awesome. Well done. Uh, what about were wallabies? That's, yeah, <laughs> the were wallabies are a serious thing. Um, beware. Um, um, or content of werewolves. Watch out for those too, because they will Photoshop you right out of the picture. 
they will <laughs> they will bump you to the side um anyways um i don't have enough time to go through everyone's um but i can kind of like briefly uh, come through here because we got so many um amazing uh, entries i'm so proud of you guys um you've all been doing such a wonderful job um, and let's jump into what we actually have planned for today's challenge. I do want to, um, kind of go over what we've got. Um, oh, actually I'll leave you with DZ's, um, bark wing because that's awesome. Um, uh, thank you for the B index page for bark wing in your, um, monster bestiary. <laughs> um, all right. So if you hit the get started button on the landing page, you will get this image. Um, this is challenge number eight. Uh, kind of like stone of power that I'm going to be making. Feel free to use your own images, um, but if you would like to use the image that I'm using, I've supplied it here, and it is also one of the free images that is included in Adobe Stock. I'm going to give you that link um, there that you can put into, um, you can you can put that code into Adobe Stock and find the image yourself, find the artist, um, give them a like, all that good stuff. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm first going to show off pixel sorting. I am, um, because pixel sorting is a cool one that I think everybody kind of wants to know in a way how to do. Um, and then we're going to dive into neuro filters just a little bit more because yesterday I just kind of like last minute was like, oh yeah, we could use the style, um, uh, settings in neuro filters or, or, and let's just see what we can do. Uh, but I do actually want to get into it a little bit more, um, today. So I'm going to hide this info. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually start doing the pixel sorting with an image that is not this, um, because the thing about pixel sorting is you want it to be a little bit, um, uh, like a little more busy than this. Um, so I'm going to come over to my libraries. I'm just going to find a random, uh, image that I think is like kind of colorful. Um, I think I could probably use like, actually this one is not bad. Um, it's got like kind of a white background, but it's got like a lot of colors on it. I think I could probably, um, I think I could probably work with that. So let me grab this one. I'm just going to drag this up, um, and, uh, open it in its own little thing thing here. I might need some time to, oh, I could just double click it too. There we go. Um, so what I'm going to do first of all here is I'm going to crop around the color that I have. So I'm going to see on my keyboard and I'm going to just bring this in like that. So we don't have all that white in there uh, and I'm going to hit enter. Then I'm going to make this image much smaller. So if I open my image size here, I just hit uh, control alt I to open this. Um, we've got, we're at about 2000 pixels here. So I'm actually going to crank this down to like 800 pixels wide. So we're only about 1200 high. I'm going to say, okay, just to make it smaller, because when we do this pixel sorting eff effect, we want it to really be able to like kind of drag across the canvas and get those like lines of like pouring almost. Um, and then, then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into image, uh, image rotation, and I'm going to rotate it clockwise like so. Um, okay. Then I'm going to go up to uh, filter. I'm going to go to, I believe um, it's not distort uh, it is stylize. So we want to go to stylize and we want to go to wind. Um, and this is going to pull up this. So you can see how this pixel drag is kind of happening here. Um, and I can zoom out on our little thing here. It's kind of like making her face look like a nightmare. Um, but really what we're looking for here, and you can kind of change this, we can go from the left to the right. Um, really what we're looking for here, um, is, a, a portion of this image, I'm going to say it's probably going to be her hair here, where things really look like they're pouring down, um, that we can sample for this. Um, so we can, you can change it to win, you can change it to blast, you can change it to stagger. Um, stagger actually looks pretty cool, um, if you think about it. Um, and I can kind of go in here and look and it's, it's, it's not as like crisp as the blast because the blast is very obviously like pixels being drugged down, but it's really up to you. I kind of like what stagger looks like, so I can hit okay. Um, and it's terrifying, but it's giving me that pixel sorty look that I want. Um, and then what you can do is just go filter wind and then keep doing it over and over again until you get kind of a creepy pixel sorting fill, like, you know, uh, thing that you like. Um, you can also, if you're going, trying to, um, reapply a filter that you have already applied instead of going filter and then doing it all over again, you can just do this control alt F, um, if you like. Um, so like if I do that control alt F, I can just keep hitting that F while I'm holding control and alt down and it'll continue to drag and keep applying this filter. Um, so I, we are getting this nasty nightmare fuel 
picture of her face. But what we also are getting is like this. I like this right in here. Um, if I do a rotation uh, real quick of this, I just hit R on my keyboard and held shift while I rotate it around because shift will snap it. Um, um, if you look at what we've got here, um, we could sample this area right here and take this over into our file um, like so. Let me just grab, let me make sure my layers are open. Um, I could grab this right here um, and then I could also grab like that right there if I wanted um, and say control J to duplicate it, drag it over to my file here um, and then I'm going to turn it. And I'm actually going to snag this and I'm just going to put that, I'm going to free transform, flip it horizontal, and I'm just going to kind of, kind of put that right there. Um, and then I'm going to come in, um, control D to deselect. I'm just going to grab my, um, oh, you know what? I'm going to actually use my eraser tool first before I do this. Or um, you could mask if you like, um, but I'm just going to use an eraser for the sake of time. Um, you could come in here. I'm just going to click around and kind of remove some of this random stuff. So I just have my pixel pory kind of um, kind of texture here. I can grab that and just kind of make like this texture uh, if I want. So now I have like this little rectangle piece of pixel sorting um, business going on here. And I'm going to put this aside uh, for now because I'm going to just, I'm just going to I'm going to use that um, on this image. But first what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some texture and really spice this up. So I've got my info uh, group hidden. I'm kind of keeping an eye on time. Okay, we have just enough time to do this. Um, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to age this photo just a little bit um, because it's we've got some really pretty colors here, but we want to make this look like some kind of rock of power of sorts. Um, so what I'd like to do um, is kind of make this look a little less lovely. Um, and the way I'm going to do that first is I'm going to grab my, my layer here. I'm going to come over here to my object selection tool. Um, if you don't see object selection, you can click either magic wand or quick selection, um, right click it and it'll open this drop down menu um, that you can select the proper selection tool from. And I'm just going to select around our gem here and I'm going to say control J. Uh, because I want to have an isolated version of our stone so that I can apply some effects to the background and not to the stone in particular so I can do something different with that. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you know, do kind of what I, what I, what I always do. This is my personal default, my style of design. If you don't want to do this every time, you don't have to. Um, but I just have this concrete, um, texture that I like pretty well. Um, you folks can find a concrete texture or you can go outside with your phones, um, if you're able, um, and take a picture of concrete on your own and try using a texture that you made yourself. Um, I challenge you. Um, and I'm just going to put this in here on a blending mode. I'm thinking probably multiply, um, because that just makes everything look a little cooler. Um, and then what I'm going to do on another layer, control shift in to create another layer, I'm going to grab my gradient tool, which is also behind the paint bucket tool. If that's what you're seeing, I'm going to grab, um, a, like a pink color from this. Um, and I'm going to put like kind of a gradient of light here and throw that on a blending mode as well, just so that it's a little, um, brighter in the scene right up there. Um, so I've got like, you know, my background created, um, I'm going to, uh, select all of my background elements, right click and say, convert to smart objects. So now I just have one smart object that is my whole background. Control D to deselect. Um, and then I'm going to come over to my stone um, and I'm going to go up to filter, neural filters, um, and I am going to open up the style transfer. Um, now I have a version of this that I really did like. This is actually pretty cool. This is one of our first settings that we can um, select from here. Uh, but I'm going to go into show more. Um, you can see there's tons of stuff that you can choose from here um, that you know, could potentially make this rock look really interesting. I kind of liked this one, um, because I just think it adds some interesting painted texture, um, to this. And I kind of want to just turn the opacity down a little bit so that it looks like there's some green and, um, stuff kind of in this, uh, this file. Uh, but what you can also do is kind of experiment and go through here and select through all of these images just to see what you get. Um, and one of the things that I'm going to do first that we did not get into yesterday, actually, I want to try this. I'm going to click that just, just in case I like that. Mm, maybe a little too, maybe a little too 
crazy for me. A little too cray cray. Um, so I'm gonna reselect like one of these. Um, I, I liked both of these, but let's go back to this one. Um, so I'm gonna select that one and then I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna um, show you, I can crank down the style strength on this. That actually looks cool. That's really neat. I'm gonna keep that. I'm, I'm definitely keeping that. That was an accident, but I'm gonna do that. Um, Cause that looks neat. Um, that kind of blends with our colors a little bit more and it makes it look like kind of ethereal. So I'm gonna do that. Um, and then I'm gonna also uh, crank up and down the brush size. So if I crank the brush size down, you can see that I get like finer teeny tiny details um, in there. Um, these, that's a little too fine because it just makes it look almost the same way as it was before. Um, uh, but I can bring the brush size up or did I accidentally drag the style? I dragged the style strength actually. Um, uh, but I can drag this up and the brush strokes get a little bit bigger and things get a little, um, a little more, uh, chunky, um, in here. And then I can also blur the background, but since this is separated from my background, I don't actually need to worry about doing that here. Um, and then I'm just going to say, okay, I can also change what I'm going to output to. I can do output to current layer, duplicate a layer, um, duplicate layer masks, new layer or smart filter. Um, I'm just going to say, um, okay for new layer. Uh, and then it's going to give me this stone um, on the new layer. And then what I'm going to do with my background layer is I'm going to go into neural filters also. Uh, so I'm going to go to filter, neural filters, um, and I am going to snag another one of these images and I'm going to transform the whole background of my piece. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to select this one and see what we can come up with here. That's actually terrifying. Um, I'm not sure about that one. Um, let's come over to this one because that's kind of the same one that we applied here. That actually looks pretty cool, but I'm going to crank it down a lot. Um, I'm going to come in here. I'm going to bump the style strength down because I, there we go. I just want like a little teeny tiny bit just to give it like that texture. Um, and then I'm also, I could blur if I want, or I could, you know, I could turn the blur up. Um, if I feel like it, but I'm not so sure that's right for the project or I could turn it down just so that it's still you know, sharp. Um, and then I'm also going to turn the brush size down so that I have like more detail. Um, I'm going to hit okay. So now, you know, my whole piece has like this creepy, like kind of, you know, um, strange vibe to it. Like it's, it's painted. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click my new gem here and I'm going to add a drop shadow. Cover your eyes. If you hate this, <laughs> shield your eyes folks. Um, actually what I'm going to do first is I'm going to hit F on my keyboard to go into the second view, um, so that I can bump that over. By the way, if you hit F on your keyboard, there are three view modes for, uh, Photoshop. Um, one is the standard where if I'm zoomed out, I can't actually grab this and move this around the canvas, but if I'm zoomed in, then I can drag it around like that. Um, number two is I can drag this around at my leisure, however I feel like it. And number three is there's nothing around and I can hit tab if I want to access my panels and hit tab again to hide them all. And I can just work, um, in the field of view of my piece here. Um, but I really like being able to work like this where I can bump this over, um, and then open up my panels and have this here so you guys can all see it instead of pulling those panels to another monitor and so on. Um, so I'm going to add a drop shadow, shield your eyes. Um, and I am going to, I'm going to crank the size up. I'm going to turn the opacity down because I just want to add like a slight darkness to this. Um, and I'm going to pull the distance in just a little bit because I just want to add a little bit. Maybe I'll increase this just slightly. I just want to add a little bit of darkness here. So it looks like it's sitting there. Um, and I can say, okay, boom, boom. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my handy dandy, uh, text tool. I'm going to click here and I'm going to say, um, stone of, I'm going to say the, what time is it? Okay. I got a couple minutes. The stone of, and then another layer, I'm going to write strength. Um, and hopefully I'm going to spell everything right. Can you guys, can you guys cross your fingers and send me good vibes, um, and hope that I know how to spell today. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to center align this. I'm going to, I'm going to grab this and I'm going to make this a little larger. I'm going to throw that there. Um, and I'm going to highlight this and go back to kind of what we messed with, um, in earlier challenges. And I'm just going to change, um, this, uh, here and, and, and bump that a little wider. Um, I'm also going to, eh, maybe not that wide, maybe not that wide. Let's put that on like a hundred and then I'm going to just crank up the 
the size. There we go. Uh, maybe I'll actually put that on like a 45. Boom. Um, so I have my stone of strength. Um, and then if I want to, I can come in with this cool pixel sorting texture um, that we have created. I'm just going to um, kind of elongate this. Boom. I'm going to put this on here because I just want this like strange shower of, uh, of texture on here. Um, and we're just going to overlay this last thing. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to make sure it's over my stone. I'm going to right click it, put on a clipping mask. So I've got this strange like pouring texture here. And then I'm going to find a blending mode that I think works with it. Let's see. Uh, 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 uh. That's actually kind of cool. That lighten um, screen. I'm kind of flipping through here with my, um, with my, my arrows. Cause I've got my, um, my blending mode highlighted here so I can just flip through. Ooh, that's cool. That's a little dark. It's a little dark for me. Um, but it's cool. Um, or adding the hue. I mean, ah, that's cool. That's saturation. And I realize it doesn't have the pixel sorting stuff kind of coming through, but I like it. I'm going to turn that down on a lower fill. That's also kind of a happy accident there, but I think it's cool. Um, so I'm going to leave it like that. Um, I do have to go. I'm running out of time, but thank you very much for joining me for this magical pixel sorting and neuro filter effect challenge. I will see you folks tomorrow for the final challenge. Tomorrow's cosplay day. So don't miss it.